Today, we're gonna to be talking about why so many of us wake up with red, irritated, dry eyes in the mornings. First, going over why this even happens in the first place, and then sharing some quick, easy tips of things that you can do to fix it. Let's take a look. Hey, how's it shine there, my friends? I'm Dr. Joseph Allen. I'm a board-certified doctor of optometry. And here on this channel, we help people learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. And if you're somebody who wakes up in the early mornings with your eyes feeling really dry, maybe red, irritated, kind of a foreign body sensation, maybe your vision's fluctuating, doesn't just seems like things are really blurry in the early mornings, or perhaps you don't feel any of those problems. In fact, your eyes feel really wet and watery in the morning, then this could all be caused by the same thing. Now, previously on this channel, we have done a video about what is called nocturnal lagophthalmos, which is the fancy medical way of saying somebody that sleeps with their eyes open. Now, some people do in fact sleep with their eyes pretty wide open, but most people wouldn't say that they identify with that or they don't have a family member who's ever really looked or noticed this. But instead, what is probably happening if you're somebody who does wake up with your eyes feeling dry, your eyelids are probably just a little bit cracked open, just enough where air is seeping in, causing dryness, but not wide enough open for you or anyone else to notice that your eyes are indeed open. And in the eye care world, what we are seeing is people who aren't getting adequate eyelid closure or an eyelid seal. In fact, in the eye clinic, we can do what is called a Corb Blackie light test, where we ask the patient to close their eyes very gently, like they're gonna take a nap, and then we shine a light through their top eyelid, and if we can still see light coming through their lids, that means that their eyelids aren't creating a very good seal, and that means they're exposed to air and can dry out easier. The idea is that although your eyelids are basically closed while you're sleeping, there might be just a little thin amount where air is able to seep through, and the oils from the oil glands of the eyelids aren't making a complete seal between the lids. As many of us who have dry eye disease, there is a component of oil gland deficiency or what is called meibomian gland dysfunction. If you're not producing enough oils, then those oils aren't accumulating on the eyelids and making that tight seal while you sleep. And again, this is believed to be one of the number one reasons why so many people do wake up with dry eyes in the morning. All right, now that we know what the problem is, let's talk about how to fix it. First of all, most historically, when eye doctors determine that this is the problem, that the eyelids are not sealing all the way, or that someone's sleeping with their eyes open, most eye doctors are gonna recommend someone to pick up eye drop gels or nighttime ointments like this. These are just thicker forms of eye drops that hopefully will rest on the eye longer and hopefully last all night, so that the tear film doesn't dry out. The biggest downsides to gels and ointments is that they are rather thick, and so they often do blur your vision. So if you plan on reading before bedtime, this may be a problem. Best to usually save the ointments and gels to the very last thing you do before turning off the light and trying to go to sleep. The other bigger problem, especially of the ointments, is that the next morning when you wake up, your eyes may still be a bit blurry. In fact, they may feel kind of goopy because of the ointment just resting on there all night. And so a lot of people do have to end up having to clean their eyelids a bit when they first wake up. As far as specific brands of gels and ointments, there's a lot of them available, and I'll put a link to some of my favorites in the video description below. But I also have a tutorial of how to use the nighttime ointments and actually get them in the eye because it's not quite like using an eye drop. So if you want to check out that tutorial video, I Again, I'll also put that in the description below. Now, another option that some people try are nighttime sleep masks, and there's a million and a half different brands of these that you can try. Now, I find that they may have a utility, especially if somebody sleeps with a fan on next to them and the fan is blowing on their face, or maybe with an open window. But the downside is that even though maybe your eyes overall protected, your eyes still gonna be open behind the sleep mask. And that's why a lot of people still end up with serious dryness the next morning, even with these masks. Again, I do think there is some utility with nighttime sleep masks, but I just know that sometimes you'll still wake up with bad dryness. Now, funny enough, in published research cases, they have used Glad Presen Seal to basically seal around the orbit of the eyelids and then trap the moisture on the eye. And this is something that people have tried and done by simply cutting out a little bit of Glad Presen Seal and then sealing around their eyes. I'm gonna try to do this right now. And so yeah, uh, basically I've closed my eyelids and pressed around the orbits and 
yeah, so my eyes are glad press and sealed. The biggest downside to this is that you uh, obviously can't see through it. Ooh, and uh, if you have sensitive skin, it's tough to say if this is going to be really that safe for your skin or, or what's going on there. But again, there are published cases on it and there may be some benefit to it. But now if you don't want to go the route of trying the Glad Press and Seal, we do have something called Sleep Tight, Sleep Right. This is in fact kind of a venture from two well-known eye care providers in the dry eye space who have looked into this research and recognized that there was something else going on and there might be a better easy way, convenient way to do this. Basically what they created are these little things. They're porous, hypoallergenic, latex-free uh, tapes for your eyelids. Kind of a more official way of sealing the eyelids than with the Glad Press and Seal. Basically the idea is that you're gonna guarantee that you're getting a full eyelid closure while you sleep. Now I don't have any affiliation with any of these products or the companies that even make these products. However, Dr. Doug DeVries, who is one of the inventors of this product, he gives a lot of lectures in the dry eye space, which is something I'm very interested in. So I have spoken with him and he did give me these as kind of a trial sample to try out myself. But the way that you use it is right before going to sleep. Again, you don't wanna put these on before reading in bed or anything like that, but it just comes off nice and easily. And you close your eyes and you put the tape right on a closed eyelid for both the top and bottom. And you basically create a really good moisture seal. And they got the nice tab off here to the side so you can remove them easily. What I do like is that my eyelid is closed and I do not need to like forcefully keep my eyelid closed at all. And that's for some people part of the issue is that once they go to, they, they actually start falling asleep, their muscles relax and their eyelids crack open. From this, the tape just holds it closed permanently. And what I like about it is it's not a really tough tape sort of a feel. It's something that you can just peel off nice and gently. It's not even like a band-aid in anything like that. It's very soft. However, I have found that it's kind of a one-time use thing, is that once you use this, you are gonna have to discard it. And uh, if you wake up in the middle of the night and have to put on another one, or uh, the next following night, you're gonna wanna get a brand new one of these. If you wanna check out more information about the Sleep Tight Sleep Right, I know a lot of eye clinics are now offering them at their local clinic. You can also find them online. They're around 40 US dollars uh, for a month supply. And I will have some links in the description below if you do wanna learn a little bit more about them. But it's something that I have been giving out trials to my patients, and I know some patients have been purchasing them and finding really good success with them. I think the only thing for me personally is that I still can feel something on my face and kind of bugs me and keeps me awake at night. So at one point I even tried doubling up using the sleep type sleep right and then using a sleep mask and that actually kind of took away that irritation feeling like something was on my face. It just it kind of calmed me down shut off all the light sort of thing. Outside of the sleep tight seat right there is one that's kind of similar called the Nictavi like Tarsus patch. However that one's like medical grade uh, almost like an industrial strength sort of thing and I think is more um, better used for like in-office procedures and I'm not even really sure if it's available to the public. It may be something that's only available to eye clinic offices, but something to ask your local doctor about. All right, so now outside of those different treatments that we just mentioned, specifically for people who have more dryness when they first wake up in the morning, there's a lot going on with a dry eye diagnosis. Dry eye syndrome is very complex. And if you are having this dryness, it usually kind of kicks off a cascade of inflammation. Inflammation that makes dry eyes worse and worse over time and very difficult to treat. And I have a lot of videos going more in depth into different treatments, things that are well beyond just using eye drops and eye ointments. And in these videos, we go over a lot of different medications and even in office procedures that many eye clinics may be able to offer to you. And if you haven't seen many of those, I do think you'll find them really helpful. And to find those easily, you can check on the side of the video, but I'll also put a complete list in the description below this video, below that like button. However, either way, I do strongly recommend that you do talk to a local eye care professional to get the proper diagnosis and treatment that you deserve. Otherwise, my question for you is, have you tried any of the treatment options that we discussed? Have you tried ointments and gels? Have you tried sleep masks? Have you even tried the Sleep Tight Sleep Right? I would really love your feedback on a product like that. Mostly because that is a newer product on the market and I would love to get that feedback and I could even try to relay that over to Dr. DeVries. Otherwise, I hope that you found this video valuable and that it brings you some great dry eye relief. If you do wanna learn more about why people get watery or teary eyes as well as what 
what kind of solutions we have for that in the iClinic, then check out the video coming up over here to the side. Otherwise, until next time, keep an eye on it, and we'll see you soon.